2 All Souls Day Feast Day, November 2nd The Commemoration of All Souls Once upon a time, in the heart of the Christian calendar, there existed a solemn and sacred day known as All Souls Day. It was a day of remembrance, a day when the faithful gathered to honor and pray for the departed souls who had embarked on their journey beyond this earthly realm. This feast, celebrated on November 2, held a profound theological basis that dated back to the early days of Christianity. In a small town where faith thrived, there lived a humble priest named Father Benjamin. He was known throughout the region for his unwavering devotion and deep compassion for the souls of the departed. Every year, as the chilly winds of November whispered through the trees, Father Benjamin would prepare for the most important day of the year, All Souls Day. In the days leading up to the feast, Father Benjamin would meticulously plan the liturgy, ensuring that the office of the dead was recited with utmost reverence. The altar was adorned with black vestments, and the church's atmosphere resonated with a sense of solemnity. The masses offered were all requiem, except for one, a reminder of the joyous celebration of the current feast. The theological basis of the day was never lost on Father Benjamin. He believed wholeheartedly in the power of prayer, almsgiving, and the sacrifice of the Mass to aid the departed souls on their path to eternal peace. He knew that the faithful on earth had a sacred duty to assist those who had not yet reached the beatific vision. As the sun dawned on All Souls Day, the town's church came alive with the faithful, who brought pictures and mementos of their dearly departed. The fragrance of burning candles filled the air as prayers and hymns resounded, seeking solace for the souls of loved ones. Father Benjamin led the congregation in their collective plea for mercy and grace. The tradition of All Souls Day had come a long way since its origins. In the early Christian era, names of the departed were inscribed in diptychs. Over time, it spread throughout the monastic orders, with St. Odilo of Cluny playing a pivotal role in its popularization. From monasteries, the commemoration extended its reach to diocesan regions like Liege, Milan, and beyond, finding a special place in the hearts of the faithful. Though variations existed in different parts of the world, the essence of the day remained the same, a profound reminder of the interconnectedness of the living and the departed, the power of faith, and the enduring belief in the afterlife. As the day drew to a close, Father Benjamin couldn't help but feel a sense of fulfillment. He knew that, through their collective prayers and offerings, they had provided solace to countless souls on their eternal journey. All Souls Day was a day of remembrance, a day of hope, and a day that reinforced the bonds of faith. The story of All Souls Day, with its theological significance and rich history, served as a testament to the enduring belief that love and compassion extended beyond the boundaries of life and death, binding the living and the departed in a timeless connection of faith and remembrance. I recommend subscribing to this channel for insightful content on All Souls Day. Sending Blessings to All the Faithful Departed don't forget to share this video on your social networks to spread the message of hope and remembrance.